If you think you've got nuisance raccoons, there's a couple things that are very important that you should know. One, raccoons can be very aggressive, especially in the presence of young. They can also carry rabies. Two, their feces can be very dangerous as well, carrying raccoon roundworm, as well as other ectoparasites and things that you don't want to mess with. Lastly, they can do a lot of structural damage. They can tear up roofing and other housing materials and cause water damage as well as other things. First, you want to actually identify if you are dealing with raccoons, which are a common invader of attics, chimneys, and crawl spaces. Some of what you're going to look for are noises. So you may hear noises in the attic, like heavy footsteps as they're walking across. You may also hear jittering, crying, scratching noises as they move around or habitate up in there. Um, you may visually see things like footprints uh, across dusty pieces of ductwork or plastic that may be in some of those inaccessible areas of the home. So when you're up in an attic space, you may be looking for dog-sized droppings um, that can form what we call latrines or large piles up in the attic space, crawl space, or certainly on the roof line, and that would be a dead giveaway for raccoons. One of the other areas they love to hide in and live in are chimney spaces. So they can habitate up in here, and you may hear what sounds like chittering or squeaking or clawing that may sound like birds. This is something that you definitely want to pay attention to, um, but you also want to have a professional take care of. And what you also never want to do is light a fire in the chimney place, um, thinking you might a victim, as that may ultimately just kill the young uh, or any raccoons that are habitating inside that chimney. Next, any raccoons living inside the structure need to be removed. Trapping is one of the great ways to do this. You need to have the traps, of course, and cages, but you need to be paying attention of safety procedures and make sure you're not gonna get bitten or scratched. You also should be aware of local and state laws when it comes to relocating or translocating any captured animals once you've actually caught them. Another product that's out there is raccoon eviction paste. It works really well, uh, but if you're not trained on how to use it, the results can be a little unpredictable and it could make things a lot worse. After you get the raccoons out, it's time to seal up the structure. You wanna identify any currents and all future potential entry points and seal those up. A lot of times we're paying special attention to soffits and those areas may be repaired, but oftentimes need to be replaced entirely. When you're making these repairs, you wanna use a heavy gauge steel mesh and or steel flashing. When we're talking about chimney caps though, you wanna use a well-built screw mounted chimney cap designed for that function to keep out those raccoons. Finally, any contamination needs to be addressed. Any droppings or soiled insulation should be gathered and removed. During this time, you wanna wear proper safety equipment and personal protective equipment so you don't come into contact with any of the nastiness that might have E. coli, salmonella, or some other disease-carrying agents in them. After that's been removed, you wanna disinfect the area, and after that product's had time to work its magic, you should be able to re-insulate all the areas. If the problem seems like it's too big to handle or you don't know if you can do it safely, call Critter Control and we'll help solve your problem for you. Our licensed and insured specialists are trained to remove raccoons safely and humanely. We've got all the tools and equipment to get the job done quickly and efficiently. Don't waste any more of your time worrying about unwelcome guests. Critter Control has been solving nuisance wildlife and pest control problems since 1983. Critter Control, protecting people, property, and wildlife.